morning. Welcome back to Team Pajamas. And today we have not a morning person because it fits in more ways than one. As promised, I believe I had done a picture of this, but I hadn't actually done the review because I looked through the library. We have the last one in the uh, gift from Mad Hatter Team Review and Maria. This is the Rocky Road Picture Show by Brutalities. And this one has black tea, cacao nibs, rooibos, mini marshmallows, sliced almonds, natural chocolate cream, oh, cream and almond flavors. And you use one to one and a half teaspoons per six ounces of water and you steep it two to three minutes at 195 degrees. And I mentioned this in another video that I've got that's going to go up before this one. I ordered three more brutalities. I'm ordering them in threes because it's just cheaper that way. I could have done a another sampler, but I decided not to. I went with all went with the black tea section, and I'm just going to wait to tell you what the what the puns are this time. It's I believe it's three more movies this time. Although one of them may or may not be a band, I forget. I'm trying to go with ones that I recognize the titles to because if I do one on here and I don't know the reference, I'll look kind of silly. So basically I think I'll just stick with ones that I, um, titles that I'm familiar with for now. This has a nice lovely chocolate scent. You can smell the chocolate straight up front. taste the chocolate and the rye balls. And a little bit of the marshmallow. It's lovely for this time of day when it's still chilly outside. Oh yes, I also have four pounds of New Mexico Pinion pumpkin spice coffee coming. Hopefully that actually has some pumpkin in it. Um, I have a mini review for the Death Wish pumpkin chai coffee. I wanted to get the pumpkin cauldron, but I didn't get it this uh, last year, and I don't know that they're having it this year. I think they've got pumpkin chai instead. And that one is coffee with chai spices. And that's got a mini, like I said, there's a mini Halloween haul to go with that. That's part, that's part of the mini Halloween haul. And I'm debating, I had mentioned in that video that I was thinking about putting the other, oh, I have three ranch waters. And I'm trying to remember if I uploaded one of them or not already. If I did, I have two more to upload. I decided not to do a video for the original because it's just basic salt and lime, and there's not a whole lot of difference between um, salt and lime hard seltzers and margarita flavored seltzers. So I decided to go with the three out of the 12 pack that were different. After I finish this video, I'm going to check my library and see if, you know, actually, if I do go ahead and put those up first, this will still be close enough. I, I like to do my hauls as soon as I get them, but I don't get to do a lot of shopping, so we'll see what happens. I kind of have a lot, the beer ends up, I would rather go back to the beer being a filler as opposed to being the mainstay, and it's inadvertently been the mainstay since I moved out here and actually for a little bit in Albuquerque as well. I'm currently doing some more laundry. I just started laundry when I got back from the store yesterday. I went from around 2 or 3, two or three o'clock till about 10, so all day because some loads take longer than others and that dryer, dryer is probably still not working properly because it's supposed to be a 
an hour per load and sometimes it takes an hour and a half or two. Which is rather ridiculous. Uh, I saw some cute um, baby pajamas at Walmart I, and some ba baby sweats. I'm thinking about maybe making a friend for Lucy Ann, we'll see. Although, she has a little too much color to be a vampire, and I don't feel like getting gray paint and doing a zombie. So I'm kind of putting that off. It didn't take me that long to make her, actually. And I'm fairly pleased with the way she turned out. There are doll bodies in the tote that my sister-in-law gave me, which reminds me I need to get with her about more fabric. And hopefully there's some more doll heads because I threw away the one doll head that was in there. The face that they had to iron on, they had in the, in the kit, to iron onto the doll body, the head is about this, it's about this big when you sew it, before you sew it, so it's probably about like that, so the face would probably fit after you sew it together, but, um, my sister-in-law went on the edge as opposed to the seam allowance, so that would make, would have made the head way too big for the face, so the face would be like, kind of like that pumpkin I have in my bedroom. But the face is like me, and the head's like this, and the face is just bitty bitty, like some sort of, sort of emoji. So um, hopefully there are more heads in there, and I will have to figure out how, figure out how to do that on my sewing machine because I'm not used to sewing tiny little things like that by machine. And speaking like I, the one I did, a pop made myself a poppet out of a fat quarter. Um. I don't know if I still have him or not. Um, I did that by hand because it's very hard for me to do small things on the sewing machine. So I might go through those doll bodies at some point and try to stuff them. It's going to be a pain because you have to stuff each leg individually and then the body and then the arms and then sew them all on and then the head. It'll be fun if I can figure it out. And with my vampire hippie that I did from the doll body she already had done plus the hair. Um, I might be able to swing it, but I have to be a lot more creative with faces because I like big faces. So we'll see. So anyway, to wrap this up, my review of Rocky Road Picture Show. It's chocolatey and um, Marshmallowy. I didn't taste a lot of almond, but you could taste definitely taste the Roy Boss in it, and it's definitely worth it. Um, check out Brutalities. I did mention to them not before I placed another order on their Facebook that I have been doing videos for my channel and tea and pajamas, and that I've been um, reviewing their tea and you know in that this feature spot so and they seem to think tea and pajamas go quite well together so that's kind of nice um i don't see myself being sponsored by anybody anytime soon um the mad hatter tea reviews and maria uh, unofficially sponsor me from time to time little surprises like so they gave me the teapot and the timers and tea bags and some tea other teas and then the uh, set of brutalities so they've given me quite a lot of tea and some tea equipment to get me started on doing better tea reviews because I and you know they I guess they like to see the tea reviews as well I'm not an aficionado just like I'm not a beer aficionado or anything aficionado I just do this because I enjoy it and because it's fun. So on that note, I'm going to let you go. Be looking forward to seeing a unboxing and possibly review of New Mexico Pinion Pumpkin Spice Coffee and
some more brutalities. Those are on the way. Um, I've got a mini Halloween off of Walmart. Um, I'm thinking about maybe walking to St. Vinny's today. I don't know. I probably won't. Because I've got to save, I've got to save money for my shopping trip, which is actually supposed to happen on the 13th of next month. So we shall see. Uh, Marlene is going to give me the time for pickup closer to the day and then we will go to Spirit Halloween so I'm trying to save some money for that. So Spirit Halloween and maybe one other place. So I have to save money toward that. So I did a split payment on my bills because this is a three paycheck month for me and next month is a two paycheck month. So instead of trying to pay all my bills out of this check, I'm trying to save a little bit of money from this check, and then I have a little bit of money I can save from the next check, and I can use some of that to go shopping. So stay tuned for that. And Ashley Geoja did say she's going to send me a surprise. So when, if and when that happens, I will share that with you as well. So be looking forward to a possible surprise package, some tea, some more tea from Brutalities, some coffee from the Mexico Opinion. And then the videos I've got to upload, another beer, semi-spooky for the, the Halloween season coming up. And that's it for now. So I will, again, I'll let you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If not, you can give it a thumbs down or just don't say anything. Uh, please comment in the box, in the comment below if you want. Keep it clean, no spamming. Um, See you next time. Stay comfy and enjoy your tea. Bye now.